Whoa. Sorry, friend. And we are free. So enjoy yourselves. Life is good. Oh, life is good. Do you hear that, Mr. 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 Pearson? Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally so going to kill him? You keep busy and stay Perhaps. Out of the worst of trouble. I'm so out worried. There. Well said, Dutch. Are you keeping busy? Of course, you know me. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I hear you. Thank you, Arthur. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Selfish, 
reasons. You, uh, you, uh, well, you've been like a father to me. You helped me so much. Not just with the reading, but with the living. You'll be fine. You always have been. I hope so. Oh, trust me. Jack's gonna be fine. You'll be fine. If we can only get old John to see it a little sense, we might be able to make a proper family of you yet. <laughs> well, we both know that ain't gonna happen. You never know. <coughs> So, what about your family? My family, well, you know, they all died long ago. I guess I'm kind of getting ready to be reunited. Only, I fear my dear Bessie went to heaven while I'll be heading south. Isn't that so, Arthur? I reckon all of us is heading that way. At least we won't be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Away with the pair of you. <laughs> you know... Know something, Arthur? What? You was always special to me. All these years. All these things we done. Good things. Bad things. All these people we seen passed on. You was always special. Are we living or dying this time, Dutch? I guess we'll find out soon enough. There she is. Hello, Arthur. Didn't mean for the fella to die. Leave us sick, Mr. Morgan. Not our fault. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Hey there, girl. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself, again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Well, I should get back to it. I suppose. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> you're 
It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yep. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. You can go faster than this. Faster, Uncle Arthur. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Come on, follow me. 